Right, so this is how I need to be here. He says reference your boat number. 745 7, C. C. C for Charlie. C for Charlie. Yeah, because if you put your money in here, it just fall away to leave. Half eleven. Whether we stay here or not, we do not know yet. Um, the kids are being fed, and I'm guessing they'll want Declan to have a bit of a kip. So me and Christine could do the the walk that we do from here. and uh, meet them down at the White Horse later on. Sounds like a plan. Mm. And a good look round there, making sure there's no damage. Are we doing the walk or not? Because I'll change my shoes if we are. To just to my walking shoes. But do you want to do the walk? Oh, I can do it on my own. I'm not bothered if you want to stay with these. No, I don't mind a walk. I just didn't know. Do you want to force you if you didn't have to do? No, oh, well, it's a lovely day. Mm. Somebody's tired. Mm -hmm. Ooh, making noises already. Mm -hmm. Although it's not exactly totally empty like it was the other day. Quality and all that. No, it goes down that pipe thing, Chris, at the side. Good job. So at gear stave, you side on on this side, stern on, on that side. And I definitely weren't expecting it to be empty. Right. I'm going to tell the children what we're doing. I might have to take this jelly off there. It's really warm. Hmm. I haven't got an inbuilt thermometer that tells me what it's got to be like in two hours. Yeah, so here at Gay Stairth, um, due to theft from the money box, could you please pay your donation of £2 for Water Director Trustees of Gay Stairth, sort code 447738, account number 1106 08 Reference your boat number. 
Trussies and gear staff were grateful to accept your kind donation of two pence for water, which will be used to help maintain these moorings for your use free of charge. Do not drink the water, swim or allow pets in the water, avoid contact with algae. Contact may cause skin irritation and stomach upset. Mm. Oh, rubbish. The closest rubbish bin is located at Neatstead Public Stead. Yeah, well, we have the bag, but I'm not carrying it all the way down there. So we've got uh, neighbours now. Right. As you can see, I took the G lay off. I didn't check the temperature, did I? It's got to be warmer than 14 degrees. Alright then, maybe have to be a liar. It's 13 degrees. Does it not have a feels like on here? Oh yeah, there we are. Feels like 13. Alright. Feels warmer than that to me. You watch, some of the wind. Wind will get up. And I'll have to take Christine's coat off. I'm a bit older than me, you see. I don't even remember if I told you what we're doing. Yeah, I think I did. They're trying to get Declan to have an hour of sleep. And we're going to do this walk we've done many times. I thought that was the fair and feather there with that fox on top of that roof. Yeah, so I am definitely not filming this all the way around. I might just show you the. No, I've showed you that loads of times. Just check the videos out. Neatstead Walk or whatever it will be called, something like that. Yeah, so it takes about an hour of this. What time is it, Christine? Five past twelve. Four minutes past twelve. All right. Anyway. Watch your back, watch your back. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. It's up here. You can go to the boardwalk. Well, you can actually carry on down the, this road here behind us. And that takes you to the boardwalk. And the, you can go up that way to the boardwalk cafe and walk across. A cafe? Car park and walk across from what we're so so that to me now that's that do me a favour Christine dear just take your phone and see what temperature it's telling it you as it as it is. Mine says 13 degrees but I can't see it. Yeah, well, if you go onto your weather app, tell you, what? if you go onto your weather app, it'll tell you what's in. Well, it'll just tell you what it. Mine's best in Norwich. Yeah. I'm in Mallorca when it's been cooler than this. I'll be taking this off. I ain't, oh, I ain't got my walking shirt on. Yeah, anyway. You come to the fudge lady up here, which Christine's going to get some kin either now or later. We're well, doing the walk, pardon? Kim's got the money, she's getting it. Oh, Kim's getting it, she's right. Um, so we're doing the walk that we've done many times, which takes us about an hour, and then we'll meet them up at the White Horse, either in the beer garden or inside. See, Ben's there. Oh, mm. Now this is my last day and normally on the last day it's nice and it's mm -hmm. on the last day I take it easy but 
I don't have to drive my car till two, two o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And a lovely day like this, well, what can I say? What can I do? Yeah, well, I'll show you the path when I get there, and that's about it, really. So this is where you get your fudge from. One pound per 90 gram bag. Salty One pound caramel. fifty per 90 gram bag. That's Bailey's rum and raisin white oh, chocolate and raspberry. I'm hoping she gets me salty caramel at least. It's texture. Oh. Mm. Just I know you do, basically, because some scrotum nick the money box at this. You put the money in that post box there. Can you see the green one? Yeah. yeah, I think there doesn't look like a path behind us, but I'm sure we'll walk past the fudge lady and then there's the footpath signs on the left. Yeah. That breeze is cool. Mm. I thought it was a bit heavy. I haven't done drawn. Flipping heck. Stayed there, which means we've gone too far. So, we're going back. Now, when I saw that path, the footpath sign wasn't there anymore. And it's definitely not past Gay Stayed, is it? So whether they're trying to, yeah, whether you're not supposed to walk over it anymore or not, but it doesn't say anything. Anyway, yeah, I thought it was a bit weird. So basically, you're only five minutes away from the stair that needs to here. Right, anyway. Yeah, I turned the inbuilt sat nav off because I thought we knew where we were going. If you're coming past, oh, I thought it was it. this, isn't it? Oh, have we walked past it? This is definitely not it. Well, then I said definitely. Not this, that one. Yeah. You get past the fudge lady place. There's a path there, you can see where that tree is, isn't it? It's looking like a path. It looks like a path. It might be a path. So there used to be a footpath sign. Yeah, this is definitely it. Look, so when it's coming up from the Gay Stairs, because the signs had disappeared. We missed it. We definitely used to be sign there and just go straight over this field. So we want to do it anyway. It's not hiding in the trees anywhere. Nope. So maybe the farmer doesn't want you going across his field anymore. Mm -hmm. But this is it, this is the path. So just before the fudge lady coming from Gaystead, just after the fudge lady coming from Neatstead. And literally go straight over here and then it's just a matter of going right all the time. There's still a sign at this end. It's looking like it's likely to fall down. Probably could have blown over that one. It doesn't look uh, very secure. Yeah. Behind the houses, go right, beaver left, and then go down the road. Take them to school road, I think. Just a minute, just a minute. School road, that rings a bell. 
opened the battery go up on the other oh I'll tell you they do me head in these batteries. I'm gonna have to change that in a minute it's gonna go off. Yep, get to the crossroads. Ah I thought there might have been a common somewhere amongst it. It's common road first and then school road. Not go across there like I did once. So we're on King Street. And now we're turning out on Common Road. Heading towards Barton Turf. Yeah, it's only Overton Church. So we want to see what most morning. School Road. Even I mean. Up there for dancing, I'm there for tripping over a lot. Thirty eight degrees now. Those ladies are behind me. Just can't probably see in the distance. There's a tennis court there, or tennis courts, I didn't realise that. I don't know if it's a club or a what? Yeah. Anyway. Not three times on the ceiling. All I can say is if you want some decent weather, I'm going to put the cuss on now and I'll do be peeing down. Got some decent weather book the same week as we do. Now this is new. Whatever it is. Hmm. Right, now it goes into school lane. So you're just bearing right again. Here's one you don't turn down. So you ignore that one. What that one? That one's called Stanley Avenue. Hmm. Um, yeah. Rocks and three mile. You walk that in an hour. Ben's at it again. So yeah, no guessing where we are. So I just sat here in the chat. Um behind the bar doing his usual great job. I'm not sitting on Mary Road, no. I'm not sitting outside on the road. Nah. Um, right, I'll come back to you. You've not even got a drink. Alright. I've had to come outside because Christian said it was cold in there. So what was I saying? So anyway, I sat there minding my own business. And Chris, no, I actually when I was at the bar trying to decide what ciders to have. As you can see, I've got three. Um, and Christian could have sworn she heard somebody say my name. New battery. Oh, this one lost me 16. 95%. Anyway, where was I? Alright, so yeah, I was there deciding, and Christine thought she heard somebody mention my name. And then somebody did mention my name, and I said, That's me. So it turns out that Gene Roberts 
who is now on Evening Shadow, has phoned up the pub and bought us a drink. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dean. Really appreciate that. That's really nice of you. Thank you. And three ciders are going down really well. Cheers. I know how much you like coming in these toilets with me. As long as there's nobody else in. Burnt my nose. Burnt my head. Anyway, that's your lot. Should be a hand down here, there used to be. When the lockdown first came along, we were the first ones in it. Still a bit fresh in that breeze if you're not in the sun. I don't think there's anybody in the breeze again, my looks at it. Or is it even still there? Oh, no. No. Um, oh yeah, you can still use it. Garden closed. Maintenance underway. Hopefully it will be ready soon. Please don't work on the growing grass. Yeah, I mean that was the first pub, or the sorry, the, the first pint after lockdown. Was that last year? April the 12th and they let us and then stay overnight on holidays and stuff. Was it last year, year before? Hmm. That Ricky Keenan Malt led me astray again there on that one. I think you've already heard that story. Right, so, going to get another pint now because Christine wants a She's not had a drink yet that Jean bought. Um, I think that's a really good idea that Jean. I'm going to actually post details of every day when I'm on the bras and if other people would like to do the same thing then please feel free. All contributions gratefully received. Thank you. 